Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorby, your host. Thanks for joining us. We're also broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM Clear Channel State Studios and YorbaMedia.com. All right, so my good pleasure and good fortune to bring Frank Jacks, co-founder CEO of Chromadex, Inc. onto the show. These people have got it going on. They've got, they're focused on development of comprehensive natural products through chemistry business, expanding into international markets and building an impressive roster of Fortune 500 customers. Chromadex is now a leading supplier of Novell ingredient technologies to the dietary supplement, sports nutrition, food and beverage, cosmetic and pharmaceuticals market. I'm thinking they got this thing covered. Symbol, C as in cat, D as in David, X as in x-ray, S as in Sam. Frank, welcome to the show. Thank you for showing up. Thanks for having me. It's actually C as in cat at the end there. So Okay, I've got that all wrong. All right. Um, tell me about yourself, and then let's get into these talking points. So I'm the I'm the founder of the company, and uh, Chromadex is a novel ingredients company, and we're currently commercializing four patented and proprietary ingredient technologies, which address the markets that you brought up, which are all very large, multi-billion dollar markets. And we're also a leader in providing a, a seamless suite of natural product chemistry and science-based solutions to large companies, Fortune 500 companies like Coca-Cola, Kraft Food, Nestle, Abbott Labs. Okay. All right. Talk to me about your your products. I mean, you've, you've got a unique business model. Let's get into the, the business models and what separates you from the rest of the crowd. Right. We, we largely have uh, the ingredient pipeline that we have is largely based on proprietary ingredients that are based on licensed technologies. And I'll talk right now today, I'd like to talk about or focus on two of the ingredient technologies, Niagen and Pure Energy. And both of those ingredients were launched uh, in early 2013. Niagen is our brand for a compound or a vitamin called nicotinamide riboside, which is also referred to as NR. I'll just call it NR. It'll keep it simple. So NR is closely related to or a metabolite of a more well-known vitamin called niacin. Most people have heard of niacin, which is also a, a vitamin B3. It's well known for its significant health benefits as well as being included lots of different, in, in lots of different types of products um, across a lot, a lot of different industries or, or product types. But there's a common side effect with niacin if you take too much, which most people know is you get this flush effect, and it makes people feel pretty uncomfortable. Well, NR, our version, is actually a no-flush version of, of niacin that also has more pronounced effect or per, uh, pronounced health benefits, largely on increasing NAD than, than niacin even does. And, and nicotinamide riboside, or NR, is, is perhaps the most potent precursor to NAD, and there's, there's been a lot of activity recently around this NAD+, plus or publicity around the importance of NAD+, plus to energy metabolism, and the profound effects that that compound has on aging. And niogen is, is a precursor to NAD, and it has uh, significant effects on improving or increasing mitochondrial population. And mitochondria are the energy center of everyone's cell or the cellular processes. These little mitochondria are the, the energy centers of those cells, and the mitochondria are linked to the aging process or age-related disease as well. And there was a publication at the end of December that by David Sinclair at Harvard Medical School that showed that NAD or improving NAD can actually reverse the effects of aging. Mm -hmm. um, which is one of the first publications out there that actually showed something along those lines. What, and, tell me something. What is this uh, new, uh, this other product, Pure Energy? I, I know you've been talking about energy, but let's go. Let's go there. So, Pure Energy is uh, is a caffeine alternative, and everybody is aware of the problems right now in the energy beverage category, where, and it's under pressure regarding health concerns for heavily caffeinated products and. So we've combined uh, our first ingredient, terastilbene, which is a blueberry compound, with caffeine, and we crystallized these two compounds together. And we put that into a human study, and we proved that you can essentially the, the, the takeaway is that you can deliver more caffeine or deliver caffeine more efficiently into the blood than just caffeine on its own. So what this means is that you can actually reduce the amount of caffeine by up to or over 50% without losing the, the customer expectation, that experience that they want from the caffeine, but with a vastly reduced amount of caffeine. Yeah, that's, that's 
definitely a big a big selling point for you. Is that uh, how does this rank this product here rank amongst your revenue streams? Well, both of them are are very important. Actually, we uh, we announced a significant deal this morning, uh, very timely. The uh, uh, a $62 million deal over four years with a company called Five Links, which is a network marketing company who's launching a health and wellness platform based on both Niagen and Pure Energy, both. And so this was the, the largest deal in the, in the history of the company. Um, and again, it was announced this morning. So it, it start, we're starting to show now that although we've just launched these less than a year ago, we're, we're already starting to show significant deals that we can monetize these technologies. And, and that's essentially what we aim to prove coming up over the next year as well. We've gone from $0.50 cents to $1.72 pretty fast. Well, tell me what, what the future holds for you. So I, I would expect you should see mo- more of the same that we've been doing over the past uh, the past year, I mean, the ever since we launched Niagen, uh, we've had a tremendous upswing of investor interest in the company. We also announced in October a deal with a company called DSM, which was a tremendous validator for the company. And again, you'll find that the uh, the investor interest in the company has has improved significantly since we announced that deal in October. And I would expect that you're going to see similar types of deals coming from the company over the next 12 months. Uh, more ingredient deals, very similar to the one that we just announced this morning with five links, and and I would expect actually that the deals will start to get bigger, even than the one that we just did with or announced with with five links. Yeah, well, somebody stepping up with a sixty-two million dollar deal on a company like yours, I would imagine they would. What markets are you going to start penetrating into, and what and what your investors should start seeing from you guys? Well, Five Links is more of a dietary supplement play, and where I would see the ingredient technologies, we have a strong intellectual property portfolio underlying and protecting and creating significant barriers to entry for other competitors. And larger companies, uh, like some of the ones I had mentioned, uh, you know, the Abbott Labs or, or the Coca-Colas or the Nestle's of this world have their eye on the types of technology that we have. And those are the companies really that I would see, and they're not necessarily focused on the dietary supplement. We're really looking at with those types of companies more of like infant formula or food products. Um, and, and that's really what I think the, the larger market for us is going to come as we move forward. Are, are you finding a lot of uh, attractiveness from abroad, uh, outside the borders of the United States, looking for your products? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Part of the, actually, part of the DSM deal was related to getting exposure to international markets and being able to better penetrate the international markets. But it's a world market today. It's not just a, just a U.S. market. And, uh, you know, again, the protection we have affords us protection across a wide range of different countries. And we see interest in the, the, the ingredient technologies we have moving into pretty much any country you can think of. Talk to me about your next event where people are going to be able to reach out, shake your hands, and talk to you personally about what, what's going on with your company, potential investors, whether whether it's small or large. Uh, we're going to be presenting um, at a conference in, in Florida um, coming up in January, and uh, it's the Noble Conference, the Noble Financial Conference, and in, in and that's coming up again in the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to be presenting there. And, you know, it would be a good idea for investors that are interested that are going to be in that area to, to 